Well, Claire's uh, out here flying the drone. This is a basic tutorial. This is uh, last night's home. It is uh, south of a town called Brady. Um, on our way to Fredericksburg, if anybody is in this area, um, you'll know it'll be easy, very easy to find. There's a little river. Uh, it's not really some place that I think you want to go out of your way for, because it's just a picnic area. It's not like a official camp spot. Uh, how do you like this camp spot, C picnic area? It's so pretty. It's nice, huh? Yeah, and quiet. Yeah, there was. We had no visitors last night. All right, it's fine. Uh, we had no visitors last night. Nice, enough area for a nice private shower. This is what this very tranquil, calm little river looks like. And we saw some deers just across the river hanging out and also one over here to the right. So um, let's jump in the drone. Slight change of plans. We got the uh, uh, the uh, battery light indicator on. It was kind of flickering, so the uh, the whole solar system isn't charging from the alternator, so I'm guessing there might be something going on. So I'm gonna go back, I don't know, 10, 15 miles, get the alternator checked out. And no big deal, because I've done one before, and uh, it is under warranty. Just pulled up at uh, O'Reilly. That's uh, where I got my last alternator. They do some kind of uh, alternator test in here. Free electrical testing actually says it right there. Batteries, alternators, starters, and I can't read the last one but uh, you get the idea. All right, I spent zero dollars to get a brand new alternator in uh, O'Reilly's. So, like I said, did the warranty uh, return. Pretty simple. Um, yeah, so these guys are nice enough and trust me enough to give me the new alternator. Extract the old one, swap it out for this. Uh, and I got every single tool to take this thing off, um, which I got a breaker bar so I can uh, take the uh, belt tensioner off, you know, loosen up the belt a little bit. It's going to be pretty simple. All right, we're going to do this the proper way. I undid this positive terminal here. The alternator is all undone, but still there's a live wire back there. Last time it sparked. On this particular bus, there's two batteries. The other battery is right up there. So I'm gonna get under the bus. I'm gonna take that off. That way all the power's gone. And then we'll have this thing out in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Well, not to bore you guys with a uh, alternator install, done one before, but we got it all put back together. Took off that battery, unconnected that battery, did it the right way, did it the real way. You wanna be on camera? Let's do it. All right. Uh, met Jack out here. We're Jack Cooper. Nice uh, to meet you. Having a very interesting conversation that I never expected to have in a small town in the parking lot of O'Reilly. So <laughs> he came back with a book he's going to yes. gift us. Called Ada and the Great Seven. All right. The uh, An allegory tale on politics and the end of taxes. All right, cool. I have no idea. I'm not much of a reader. Maybe Claire will uh, dictate it to me. But uh, this is the day so far. I think it's about 2 o'clock, maybe 1 o'clock. I don't even know what time it is. I just know that the battery light is now off. I'm not sure if I showed you guys when I did it before, but it was uh, this indicator light right there. It was kind of flickering and went on. Now I turn the bus on. The light goes off. Life is good. Actually, before I leave, I'm going to have these guys do another battery check just to verify. So... 
So we'll be on the road shortly. Are you hungry? Yes. <laughs> Me too. We didn't make it far. We're still in the parking lot here, but we're just going to go in here and get some tacos real quick. Since uh, all we had was a little breakfast shake and then we were working on, well, me. <laughs> we're working on the engines for I a bit. I was keeping that other guy entertained. That's true. Armadillo in front of the bus here. Doesn't even see it. You us. see how kind and compassionate I am? I am not running him over to eat him tonight. Oh, I'm letting he's him so cross. Cute. Isn't he Look cute? At his little hop. I know he like runs off like a little bunny Aww, rabbit or something. It's so cute. And uh, by the way, we are on a road coming from Cherry Spring and we're headed towards Enchanted Rock. In my opinion, this is one of the prettiest roads I've ever driven in Texas. Claire, what are your thoughts on it? I agree. Yeah, and also and by there's loose cattle though everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's all there's deer, so many deer everywhere. There's cute little creeks and all that stuff. And uh, Claire's an expert deer spotter. She's like, oh, there's a deer over there. And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? She spots them everywhere. You'd be a good hunter. I'm a pro. Except for the fact that she thinks they're so cute. So. <laughs> But they taste better than they look, so... <laughs> Good point. <laughs> look at how cute! What, what is there? Baby! So... Oh, he's so Oh little. my gosh. So this is the uh, the road to the Enchanted Rock. Aww. Um, you don't want to get in between the mom and the baby, I don't think. But, I want uh, a cow. <laughs> Oh, but we so got some baby, so we got some calves over here. This mama's like, what you looking at? <laughs> and there's a little Aww. little baby cow. Where do you think he's going? I don't know. I, maybe we're hurting the baby cow. Look at it. There's ton, a ton more up there. Yeah, we got more cows up here. And another baby! Where, way up there? Up. Yeah, yeah. So look at this one. This, this has got some floppy ears right here. She looks super chill. Yeah, super chill cow. <laughs> looks like actually a Central American cow. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, straight ahead, we, we got ourselves a little uh, Texas uh, traffic jam up here. Go <laughs> around up, get your hats on, folks. That's right. Oh, look at the baby. That one's so little. I know. Wow, look at how small that one is. There we and go. Cow. The cows are pretty uh, timid, but they're also very curious. So, if you just kind of drive up to them, they'll, they'll they'll get out of your way. But they're they're like w wondering what on earth is going on, huh? Aren't you? <laughs> See, we got more up here. Oh, is that what that is? Oh, Claire said there was a big old bull. I'm guessing the big one is a bull. Whoa! That is a big ass bull right there. Damn! <laughs> All right, we are now entering the enchanted rock with Clear Bear. So enchanting over here. So right now, right now, we're towards the bottom of the trail. We're just in a couple hundred yards from uh, the beginning, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a nice little walk up to the top. halfway. Oh I'm already winded. Oh I'm tired. It feels, it feels a lot steeper than it looks. Yeah. I know. I'm not looking forward to walking down. I feel like I've hiked up to the top of a half dome in Yosemite, but in reality, we're only up a couple hundred feet right now. We're already winded. That's that's not saying a lot for us, Clever. We had tacos for lunch. That's our excuse. Oh, that's true. I think we're pretty good. Way down by the taco.
Jesus. We're almost to the top. Well, um, even height is that one over there. As you can tell, slightly winded. Claire Bear took the lead. She's out in front. She's she's down. She's down. She's down for the count. We gotta revive her. Medic! Medic! <laughs> Don't throw me off the freaking mountain! Man, what a view up here! This is incredible. And I mean, rock is so pretty. And what I mean incredible, I mean incredibly dumb to do after eating a burrito and one taco. <laughs> cool this is it looks like little tide pools all the way up and there's some kind of shrubs and a clear bear you know all that fun stuff but is that neat it's a really cool reflection and I'm guessing you know yesterday I was in the kind of rainy cold climate. This is several hours south of the uh, 20, freeway 20. And I'm guessing that they also got a little rain. Look at that. Almost looks clean enough to drink. <laughs> is trying to figure out where on earth we came from because as you can see this rock all look pretty much looks the same the path is down there we got to go this general direction I think but we'll I'm so afraid I'm just gonna fall like, the good <laughs> the good thing is this rock is uh is pretty solid it's like I don't know granite perhaps um I don't like and as, lo as long as it's not wet you're not gonna slip you guys hear that? Hey, hang on, Claire. What is that? That's so it's intense. Probably, that sounds electronic. It's probably to scare away other animals. You think so? Maybe. It definitely sounds electronic because it's been the same thing for like three minutes now. Frogs. Are those frogs? What mm. is that? <laughs> They're like seriously, what the heck? They just like completely went quiet. All right, let's hang out for a sec. Let's wait for them to start chirping again. It sound like some kind of like home security alarm. Oh, there's one. It just jumped in the in the water. There it is. Oh, it's so cute. There it is. This is that little thing making all that crazy noise. It's some kind of little frog. Oh, they're starting again. I highly doubt this guy's gonna do that with this camera in his face. That is so cool. These guys are really noisy. Where? I don't know, I can hear it though. They're gonna stop moving once they see you. Uh oh, mosquitoes, let's go. <laughs> I just had one buzz around my ear. I hate mosquitoes so much with a passion. <sighs> oh, there it is. Big old Texas mosquito. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I, I had a feeling it was mosquito weather. And boy, oh boy, was I right. Well, to me, this is warm. I know, but I'm saying like, I don't do mosquitoes in February. Yeah, well, we do today. 
Oh, is that a bat? Yeah. What? Mosquitoes. Not Coming in hot. Wants a fresh meal. Fresh meal of the season. Not gonna happen today, that's for sure. I'm uh, accidentally hurting a deer and have been for the past, I don't know, quarter mile or half a mile. I'm trying to get past way. him. I don't want to hit him, but he keeps speeding up over there. There he goes. I think he made it through. He actually headbutted the fence. Sorry, dude. Claire? What? Are you excited for elk? I am. Yeah, me too. All right, now, just want to show you guys a little something, something. We are, uh, we are at a, one of these uh, famous uh, picnic areas. Actually, this is technically a rest area. Um, and it is, if you're going to Fredericksburg in Texas, uh, the Walmart, eh, it's not a lot of privacy, bright lights, 24 hours a day. So 16 miles away, a short 16 miles away, on the highway towards uh, Austin, Texas. Check out this. We got our own private rest uh, picnic table area. There's another one over there. Uh, off in the distance is, uh, you know, toilet where you go, you know, well, you know what you do in the toilet. But anyway, so this is a totally free spot. My flash, my pants are flesh <laughs> from my flashlight. Anyways, we're gonna eat some, uh, some elk. This came from Arizona. Um, it is just ground, I think, and we're gonna cook up some dinner. Why don't I show you dinner when it's all finished? Are you cold? Yeah, I'm crazy. Oh, I better shut the door. Ooh, <laughs> look what we got cooking here. And it's just a uh, little, you know, elk, wa uh, ground elk water and uh, some vegetables with some uh, jerk seasoning or Cajun seasoning. And Claire's a simple girl with simple needs, so paper plate and a camping fork is basically all she needs so we're gonna call it uh, a day here thanks so much for watching I'll see you guys back on the road tomorrow